WordPress is one of the best platforms for building basic through to complex websites. However, it is common knowledge that WordPress can be overwhelming, is frustrating to use, and has many technical barriers. Fortunately, this is where a solution like 10Web comes in, which is an AI-powered WordPress platform that takes care of all the fluff and technical stuff for you so that you can focus on important activities like running your business. And today I'm going to share how you can simply create a stunning WordPress website using 10Web. Okay, so just quickly, before we go ahead and launch into 10Web, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into this AI-powered WordPress builder. Okay, so to arrive here at 10Web, simply head over to your browser and type in 10Web.io or simply click on the link in our description below this video and that's going to take you here. You'll also get access to a 7-day free trial to test out and see if this 10Web website builder is ideal for your business. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, 10Web is an all-in-one AI website builder that takes care of all the fluff and technical stuff so that you can focus on growing your business. Okay, so first things first, what we wanna do is generate a website using 10Web's AI website builder. To do that, simply navigate down to generate your website. Then here we have a few options. We can migrate an existing WordPress website over to 10Web Hosting. This is if you already have a WordPress website and you want to host your website on 10Web. Then we have the option to recreate our existing non-WordPress website using AI into a WordPress website. This is if you want to get the most out of your website by using an extensive website building technology called WordPress. Then next to that, we can generate a website using AI. And this is what we want to talk about today. We want to generate a new business website by leveraging AI, which is going to generate our website content as well as images and the structure and design of our website. So let's go ahead and click on proceed. Now I've talked a lot about different AI website builders on this channel and the big advantage of leveraging an AI website builder like 10Web is most of the heavy lifting is done for you. All you have to do is answer a few questions and then AI will generate your website. Following this you then have the option to further customize your website manually. Okay so let's first add our business or site type in here and 10Web's AI can generate any type of website whether you're building a service based business or an e-commerce based business website or even just a blogging website you can do that with 10 web for the purpose of today's tutorial I just want to create a consulting business website so once you've added your site or business type simply navigate down to next then go ahead and add your company's name then come down and describe your company okay so as you can see I've quickly gone ahead and described my company a digital consultancy helping small businesses streamline their business through digital systems and technology this includes CRM integrations lead generation and sales automations you can also enhance the description of your company by leveraging AI simply click here for now, I'm going to navigate down to this question, do you own a domain for your website? For the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and click on no. Come down and add your business or website name if you do not have a domain for your website, then navigate down and click on next. Here we want to add our three main services features that your website provides. As you can see, based on my company description that I added earlier, AI has gone ahead and generated my top three services and features, digital system integration, CRM consulting, and sales automation. If this is incorrect for you, go ahead and change those now. Then come down and click on finalize. Then before our website can be generated with AI, we first need to sign up with Google or add your details down here. For the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm going to quickly go ahead and sign up with Google and then meet you back inside 10 web. Then once you've signed up, give 10Web a moment to generate your personalized website. And just like that, congratulations, your website was successfully created with AI. Let's come down and preview and edit our website. Now, before we can further customize our website using 10Web's drag and drop AI website builder, we first need to come down and click on try 10Web Pro for seven days. Again, this is going to give you a seven day free trial so that you can see if 10Web works for your business for your site requirements. Again, this gives you access to an easy to use drag and drop website builder, responsive design. You can regenerate any of your website content with AI and you get a free custom domain up to $30. Again, this will allow you to edit your website, generate more content and images, and host a super fast website on 10Web. And the great thing is you own all the content and images that you generate. 
Okay, so I'm going to navigate down here and quickly navigate through the process of signing up to the seven day free trial. Then we'll meet inside the 10 web editor where we can further customize our website. And once you've added your payment details, you'll be taken here. Now for basic informational or service-based businesses, the AI starter plan is going to be sufficient enough for you. However, if you want to build an online store, you want to engage in e-commerce and sell products through your 10 web AI generated website, then you will want to get started with the AI e-commerce starter. Okay, so let's come down and click on proceed. Here we want to add our subdomain for now. Again, this should be the name of our business or website. Then choose the data center for your website. This should be closest to the audience that you service or the location that you operate from. Then come down and click on finalize. Then give 10 web a moment to prepare your website. And that's going to take us to our home page where we can start customizing our website. Now, before we do this, we first want to navigate back over to our 10 web dashboard. Click here and then come down and click on 10 web dashboard. And this is where you can essentially manage your website. If we navigate up to get a free custom domain, this is where you can choose a custom domain to connect to your website. Now over here under pages, you can see all the pages that you have currently on your website. We have our homepage as well as our about services, projects, clients, and contact. If we navigate over to the right hand side and click on this drop down, that's going to unpublish that particular page. Next to each of these pages, we can also click here to edit the page. And then we have these three dots. If we click here, we can set a particular page as our home page. However, I'm happy with the home page as our set front page. To add a new page, simply click on add page. And here we have a few different options. We can use AI to recreate any website page that we like the look of. For example, if you've created a page in the past using a different website builder and you want to recreate this page, you can go ahead and do that here. Or for example, if you've found a page online, this could be a competitor's page, but you want to create similar elements, structure to that page and further customize it to make it your own, you can recreate that page here using AI. You can also choose from pre-made pages, and this is going to allow you to quickly create your website pages, or you can create a website page from scratch. Okay, so for now, I'm going to close this. Now next to pages, we also have header, and this is the universal header section on each of your website pages that you can simply customize over here, as well as the footer section here. Okay, so let's navigate back over to pages. Now over here, you can see that the site lock is on. If we click on edit, we can come down and in order to access and edit our website, we need to take the username and password and sign in when we click on edit website. Then once we've finished customizing our website, we can turn this site lock off. At the moment with password protection, your site stays hidden from search engines giving you peace of mind and freedom to work without unexpected visitors. Okay, so this is my username here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this password and then navigate over to edit website. Here we need to add the username and password in here and then click on sign in. And again, here we can start customizing our website using the AI website builder that is based off Elementor. And Elementor is just a simple drag and drop website builder that is designed for WordPress websites. Now to preview your website pages, simply navigate up to preview changes. And here we can preview our homepage. We can also navigate over to services. And here we have our services page. Let's take a look at our clients page. And essentially what we want to do is customize all of these pages to add our own content. And this is the about us page. Okay. So let's navigate back over to edit with 10 web builder. If we click here, we can change the page. I'm going to navigate over to the home page. So again, if we click up here, we can jump between the different pages and start customizing them. Now, if I click out of this next to that, you can see we're currently on the desktop version. If we click on tablet, we can start customizing this website to ensure that each of the sections, layouts and elements are responsive across tablet. And the same is with mobile here. As you can see, this is what the homepage looks like on mobile. However, first, what we're going to do is navigate over to desktop and start customizing our desktop page. Simply click on the content that you want to customize. If we click here, you can see that this is a heading and you can see the heading content down here. Now what I can do is simply add my own content in here or I can leverage AI to help write content for me. I'm gonna go ahead and click on write with AI and then navigate down and click on make it shorter. And as you can see, AI has gone ahead and shortened this heading. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to navigate down and click on use text. Now you can also add a new prompt and you also have these other options here. 
like change tone and translate to. I'm gonna go ahead and click on use text. Now let's click on this section here. You can see that this is a button. What I'm gonna do is simply drag this and make it smaller. And if we navigate over to the content on the left hand side, you can see that this is a button. And under content, what we can do is navigate down and change the text of this button. I'm going to change this to learn more. Then here we have the link down here. I'm going to delete this and start typing HTTP. And I want to link this button, learn more, to our About Us page. I'm going to click here. Then if we click this Link Options button here, we have the option to select Open a New Window. Now you only want to select this option if you're sending a visitor to an external website. If you're linking an internal page like your contact page, About Us page, clients page, then this is what we call internal linking and you do not want to select this option. However, let's say that you're linking to a YouTube video or a resource on a different website, then you want to select open in a new window. Okay, so I'm happy with this for now. I'm happy with my header as well as my button. Now you can see the structure of your website page over on the right hand side. For example, you can see we have the hero container. If we click here, that's this purple section over here. Then within the hero container, we have a normal container. If we click here, you can see that we have this container here. And within this container, we have heading, which is this heading text here. We also have a divider which is this divider down here. And then we have another container, which holds a button. Again, if we navigate down the page and click on about container, and then click on this little arrow and this arrow down here and this arrow here, you can see that this is full of containers and within each of the containers, we have sections like the heading and divider. Now this can be quite overwhelming, so let's just go ahead and close this. And that way we can just work on the front end here, as well as change the content on the left hand side. Okay, so as you can see, we have content here, simply click here, and you can see that this element is a text editor. Let's navigate down and change this content using AI. Again, I'm going to navigate across and click on make it shorter, Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM m down below in the description okay so with that covered let's go ahead and get back to this video and i'm happy with that so i'm going to click use text and we can also make our own changes in here if we like for example i'm going to add a space and then if i come down here i'm going to add another space in here now you can see we have an image element here if we click on the image we have these different options up here again i like to use the editor over on the left hand side we can come down and we can choose an image by uploading our own image or we can generate a new image using AI. Then come down and click on new image and let's go ahead and generate a new image using AI. Simply go ahead and describe your image by adding a prompt. As you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added people in an office collaborating on a marketing project. You can then come down and choose the image style. I'm going to select enhance and then you can also select the ratio. I'm happy with this ratio and the set number of images. Then come down and click on generate with AI. And just like that, AI has generated four images that I can now use on my website. I like the look of this one, so I'm going to click here and then select use image and then proceed. Now, once you make any changes, simply navigate up to save and publish or click this drop down and come down and click on save draft. If you're not ready to publish your changes live on your website, simply click on save draft. And when you're ready to publish your changes live on your website, simply click on publish. Now remember, website visitors cannot see your website at the moment because we have the site lock on. And once we've made a few more changes, then we can go ahead and turn that site lock off so that our potential customers, website visitors can discover our website on Google and other search engines. Now, if I click on this section here and click up here, we can also make changes to this container. And this is where you can make changes to your layouts. Now, this might look slightly daunting, but it's really easy to use. Just play around with the different options. For example, with width, what we can do is drag this out. I'm happy with that. Then we can navigate up to style and we can add an image to the background if we like, or we can choose a color. For example, if I click here and click on this color here, you can see that's going to change this background color. But I'm going to navigate back over here and change this color to white. Okay, so you can do that with each of these different sections. Take the time to click on each of the different elements and add your own content. 
For example, under this section, what our clients say, what we want to do is take the time to change these testimonies and add our real customer reviews. If we navigate down further, we have this section here. This is an image carousel. Again, what we want to do is upload our own images. Okay, so take the time to navigate through each of your different sections on your website and customize all the different sections and elements. Now, what we can also do is navigate up to add element and we can add our own elements. For example, let's navigate up here and let's go ahead and delete this image here by clicking up here and then clicking this bin icon. Then under elements, I have a video element here. I can simply drag this video element and place that in here. And all I need to do is click this pencil icon and that's gonna generate the editor on the left hand side and I can simply add the link to this video. This could be a YouTube video. Again, let's navigate down to the bottom of this page and then click on elements again. And this time I could add a layout Let's go ahead and add this grid. And with this grid, I can come down and edit the grid. I can add more columns, less columns, more rows or less rows. Let's go ahead and change this to two. Then navigate back up to elements and then come down. And let's say I want to add an image in here and then another image next to this image. I can then navigate up to elements again and let's go ahead and add a heading down here. One more time, I'm going to navigate up to elements and then come down and click on text editor and drag this element over here. Then all I would do, like I showed you earlier, is take the time to make the customizations on the left hand side. I can simply make changes to the content and style. Again, click on this element here, change the content. I can also leverage AI and then I want to change the style. And then up here, I can simply upload my own images or generate an image with AI. So as you can see, it's as simple as that to customize your website. Take the time to navigate through each of your different pages and add your own content and custom changes. And you can also come down and add additional pages if you like. Remember with each of your pages, you want to ensure that your content is responsive across devices. For example, if we click on mobile, we can simply click on the content and then navigate over to style, for example, and you can see all the changes that we make will only be made on mobile. For example, on mobile, let's say that I want this content to be left aligned. Again, once you've made any changes, simply navigate over to preview changes and then save and publish or save as draft. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is navigate back over to our 10 web dashboard by clicking here and then selecting 10 web dashboard. Like I mentioned earlier, you also want to take the time to customize your header and footer. Now, when you're ready to publish your website live online, simply click on edit and then navigate down to point a domain. Simply navigate up to add domain and then choose your domain. And that's going to allow you to choose and connect a custom domain. And then you can turn your site lock off. If we navigate down the page, we also have website booster. You can see that the 10 Web Booster Pro is active and what this plugin does is essentially optimizes your website speed and health. Again, you can manage your domains over here. You can see your web hosting services, navigate down to plugins, and this is where you can manage your active plugins that are installed on your website. Now, if you want to add additional plugins, you can simply navigate up here and click on add new plugins. And that essentially allows you to add additional features and tools to your website. You can preview all your plugins, active plugins and inactive plugins. Over here you can see available updates and you can manually make those updates or automate those updates. If we navigate down further we have website themes. This is where you can simply change your website theme and then down here we have backups. Ideally what you want to do is enable automated real-time backups. If your website goes down for any reason, maybe there's a clash between plugins and themes or you accidentally break your website, you can always restore a backup. Now, if we navigate up to our profile here, and that's gonna take you here, you can see we have one website here. Simply click on manage to manage that website. Up here, we can create a website using AI templates or themes, and we can migrate your existing website over to 10web if you have one on a different hosting provider. And then over here, we can also buy an additional website for $20 per month. This is if you want to manage multiple websites inside your 10web account. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this 10web AI website building tutorial for beginners. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief 10web tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about building your WordPress website using this AI powered website builder, then make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.